We got a Brian B. Phipps right here. We have this cast iron pan. You can't see the smoke. It's burning. It's perfect for, for what you're gonna do. We're, gonna, we're not gonna put no season. No season at all. I'm just gonna put it in there. And I'm gonna use the fat of it to cook itself and give me this golden brown face on each side. In the meantime, my wife will cook. We're making mashed potatoes. She sliced a cup of garlic in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just show you what you're doing. Just first got it, let it boil in with it. So, in the meantime, it's just take a cast iron pan, both of them, cooking. I'm only going to use salt and pepper. I'm not using nothing else. Light salt and light pepper, nothing else. Alright guys, we're going to go to the first one we put. We're going to lift it up, so not yet. I want it to be a little more brown. This one looks good. Let's flip it up. Let's look at this one. It looks great. Let's flip it up. You can use this in there because this is cast iron. You can use this. Stainless steel appliance for this. Fine. We're waiting on this piece. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is, I got this pink salt. Just put some pink salt on this side. The other side. Because we don't want the season to be burned. And I got this fresh grinder. We grind fresh peppers on there. Wait. Check on that one. It's okay. We're gonna twist them around. Ready to try and bevers again. This grinder needs to be flipped upside down to get the right result. Now that this fresh is finished, just slice some fresh garlic on it. I put it in a very low heat, as you see. I got everything going. I got the mashed potatoes, spinach, and I got the four steaks. Let it burn by itself. Let it cook itself. In the meantime, cutting. Fresh by three, four cloves of garlic, right on the spinach. You know it's very high, but it's when you cook spinach, it's go low by itself. So don't rush it. Now I'm going to do a little bit again. Grind fresh. black peppers and I'm gonna grab then I'm gonna add a little bit crush red peppers on top and I'm gonna dress it with olive oil and I'm just covering with any cover you have you press down on it and let it steam itself and we have it low heat. We're not gonna touch that, this one usually cook itself. Now we get back to our steak. We're gonna flip our steak one more time. I like it when it's stick like that, I mean it's cooking. Flip the other one. 
this slow heat right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm twisting. Get this one here, bring this one here, and let everything get the even cook. In the meantime, when it's hot, you lock in all the juices. The juices will come out easy, because the pan's hot. The cast iron pan is very hot. Now we're going to do season this side of it. And more bit of salt. I don't like this thing, I'm gonna use my hand. This is the big salt I got, Gus. That's what I like. In the meantime, I'm picking this up, check on my potatoes, see if it's cooked. It looks like it's getting there. Lift the lid off of it, go in the sink, and let it cook. In the meantime, I'm grabbing this thing to see if it is cooked. Give me a couple more seconds, let it cook. We're not rushing. Look, when I move this here, this here is higher. And this one, it's getting golden brown now, this is how I want it to be. There you go guys, look at it, it's good in there. Right now it's rare. I like it medium. My wife likes it medium. My older son likes it medium. My little son likes it juicy. I mean, on the rare side. If it's not juicy, you get very upset. The head just looks like it's done. It has a little bit of water in there. I put it on a low heat because I want to get burnt. Look good. What I usually add to the potatoes is this good cup of milk. Voila. Salt. I would like to use this. And fine. Fresh cracked pepper. This thing is sound like I'm burning a lot, but it's not. You're grinding. So grind a couple of them each time you're rolling it. Then you see the magic touch. That's what you put in there. Then I'm going to put some butter on the steak. You see the butter I put in there? That's how you're going to juice it up. I put the butter in milk itself. Slowly. We don't want to rush. Butter is quick to burn. This is organic salted butter. I don't want it to be burned. So I'm going to lower the heat. Steak is almost done because I want to use this as sauce. 
Hey, see this fridge got it. I'm gonna put a couple of them in the smoked potato. And I'm gonna put a couple of them here in the steak. I love roasted garlic. You see right here, and you see right there. That's how it looks. And then I'm gonna use my spoon to grab the sauce and put it on top of the steak. But in the meantime, let the butter melt by itself. No rush. So here we go, the mixed vegetables is done. The steak is done. The spinach is done. I'm going to give it a quick stir. It looks beautiful. Spinach is done. That's it. That's all you need from spinach. It's not too much work to it. It cooks itself. It's full of flavor. And that's what you're going to eat. Get it up. Now get back to the steak. Maybe the is done. Now it cooks slowly. Now you see that? And that's what now time for me to turn it. That's why I grab the skillet. And you see the sauce, you just put it on the top. They cook itself, the same way with the other one. You see the sauce? That's the one I want. That's it. That's all you need. You let it cook itself. In the meantime, I'm going to lower the mashed potatoes and high up the steak. Let it cook a little bit faster. Steak is almost done. Flip it some more time in the butter sauce. Now, steak is done. Over in. One. We got the second one. We got the third one. And the fourth one. What I'm going to do is grab the sauce and the garlic. And that's it. Done. Also the same way with others. It's very heavy. Be careful when you do this. And then my wife have the last touch. A little bit parsley on it. A little bit grind the time brush. That's it. Voila. It's done. Here you go the steak. As you see. Look good. I wish you can smell it. I hope you can smell it through the phone. And that's what we did for today. I hope you make the same recipe. Enjoy it. Thank you. Here you go, guys. The finished product. And this is our dinner. Me, my wife, and my two boys. Look at it. This is the spinach with garlic and crushed peppers. This is your ribeye. And this is the mashed potatoes with butter. And this is the hungry man. <laughs> he can now wait.